Maybe there is something the matter with me. <laughs> I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be bad. Hey dolls! So today I am obviously filming outside because I wanted a change of scenery. However, if you hear things like lawnmowers or vehicles, I apologize because I'm kind of close to the road and I didn't really think about that at first. But what I have to show you today, I am so excited about. Recently, I got this in the mail. That's right, it's the Sephora Disney Aerial Collection. And I don't have either the Cinderella or the Jasmine collections because I thought they were kind of expensive and neither of those two princesses are my favorites. But Ariel is one of my top favorite Disney characters, period. So when I saw the announcement of this collection, I knew I wanted it and I saved up my money for the release date, which there was a bunch of drama over because Sephora wasn't very specific on when it was going to be released. However, I got onto my email 10 minutes after Sephora sent the email, so I was able to nab these. The first thing I got was the mirror, and this is it in its gorgeous box that I probably won't be able to throw away. And look at that awesome barcode detailing, isn't that cute? These are the most collectible things from the collections. They are going for like $150 on eBay, which is insane since they retail for $20. And up close, it is absolutely gorgeous. This middle part is faceted, and then in the very center of it, we have the silhouette of Eric and Ariel about to kiss in the canoe. And it's also like 3D, if you can tell. This silver part on the outside is raised above the pretty middle part. And then it opens using this little tab on the side, which you just push in and it opens. The top has the quote on the bottom that says, you've got to be you, which is from the Ariel Disney Channel TV series. And this is beautiful. That's about all I have to say about it. I can't do a really in-depth review on a mirror, but it's very heavy duty and it's not going to get broken easily. So I'm really excited to put this in my purse. Just, it's gorgeous. Then the second thing I got is like the main item from these collections, which is the large story look palette. And this is the outside cardboard box that holds the palette, which look at how beautiful that is. And this is just the cardboard box that holds the palette. And again, it has adorable barcode detailing, which for some reason makes me really happy. Now here's the actual palette's packaging, which I think is gorgeous. It's a silhouette of Ariel in her grotto, and all of her treasures are done in this really pretty metallic silver foil. And there's a bunch of like fill gray pattern around it, and it's just really gorgeous. And I think they did a great job of really capturing the essence and nostalgia of the movie The Little Mermaid without making it seem too cartoonish and for, like it's for little kids. They made it seem very grown up, which I think they did a really good job on. And this packaging is gorgeous. And I will tell you this much you are paying a lot for the packaging itself and the fact that it's Ariel and Disney. And here are the gorgeous colors which pop out so that you can use this as a little keepsake box which I think is really cool because I would never want to throw away this gorgeous box. And I would say that there are some colors that gave me a bit of difficulty in this palette. Sick of Swimming, this sparkly white color is pretty chalky and glittery and it has a lot of fallout. However, I find if I use it wet, it is a lot better. And then these two matte colors on top, Flounder and Sebastian, are also a bit chalky and difficult to work with. But other than those three, I find that most all the colors are really, really pretty. Um, Triton has a bit of fallout, it's this gold color, but not any more than like any other eyeshadow. And I actually used the palette on my eye look today. And for this look, I used Atlantica on the lid, which is this really pretty green color. 
Shalala in the crease and outer corner. Sick of swimming in the inner corner. And seashells, which is this pretty champagne-y color on my brow bone. And I really like the look that I came up with today. And I also came up with a look yesterday that I really like. And I'm gonna be inserting pictures of my looks that I've created with this palette throughout this video as I talk. I would say that here's the bottom line. If the whole Ariel Disney thing does not matter to you, then I would probably go with a different brightly colored palette, possibly like the Urban Decay Vice palette, because their shadows are a bit higher quality. However, I, to me, the whole aerial thing is worth it because these shadows are not bad. In my opinion, they're not bad. They're still of very good quality. It's just that brands like Urban Decay and Lorac make even better quality, if you know what I mean. So to me, it was worth the $55 I paid for it, but it won't be to everybody. For me, the nostalgia was worth a couple of mediocre eyeshadows. So essentially, I would recommend it to you if you love The Little Mermaid. If you don't care about The Little Mermaid, then maybe go with something different. And I don't want you to think that like, I don't think the shadows are good because I do think they are good. I think there's some gorgeous colors in here. Um, Blue Lagoon, I love. Um, Flotsam is gorgeous. Les Poissons, I love that one too. Caspian Sea is my favorite. This dark blue color that is showing up way too bright on screen. Atlantica and Fins are beautiful. Ursula, Shalala. Oh, your voice is a beautiful silver color. Sea Witch is this awesome vibrant purple, which I in I love that one too. It's my second favorite. And Jetsum is a really cool sort of duochrome black color that I really think is cool. So I do think that there are a ton of really good colors in here that make it worth the price. So that would be my thoughts on it. I don't know how helpful it was since I didn't swatch them, but there's been so many swatches going around the internet, I didn't feel it was necessary. I hope my thoughts though were helpful to you as to whether or not you'd be interested in this palette. So that's about all I have to say, and I guess I'm just gonna end it here. So I will see you in my next video. Bye dolls. I don't know when, I don't know how, but I sense something starting right now. Watch and you'll see, someday I'll be part of your world what would i pay to spend a day warm on the sand but up on land they understand but they don't reprimand their daughters bright young women sick of swimming ready to stand